What's up, everybody? This is Ingram and Captain Jack, and we're back with part three of our tutorial series on how to build your own megalith facility. So, part three, we're going to be covering some pretty basic red power machines. We're going to talk about the transposer, the black breaker, the deployer, the filter, and then redstone and pneumatic tubing. Um, there's a couple, there's a ton of machines actually that are not going to be covered yet. Those will be covered in later ones, including restriction tubing. Um, which is not quite needed by these guys. So Captain Jack is manning the first rig here and he's gonna walk us through what's going on. So right here we have a filter. Um, just keep in mind as we go a lot of these machines look exactly the same. Um, actually not exactly but just very similar. Um, so what we have is a filter and we have it attached to a chest. Now one of the things that you're gonna want when you're messing around with red power is a screwdriver. And what the screwdriver is gonna do is it's gonna change the orientation of the machine by right clicking on it. So right now this is the correct setup. We want there's a star shape in front of this that you can't really see and then there's a little hole in the back and the smaller hole is going to be the output. The filter is going to require a redstone signal so what we have here is a timer hooked up to a lever and when I flip this switch here it's going to start pulling cobblestone out of that chest and into this chest. There we go, just like that. What you'll notice is that it's pulling it out one at a time. One single block, it's not pulling stacks. And there's also some other items in the chest here that if we rearrange, it's not going to take. Because we have the filter set to only take cobblestone and only take one at a time, as you'll see right there. So if we wanted this filter to pull out stacks of, let's say, 42, there we go. You can see the stacks of 42 flowing into this chest. It's emptying out much faster. Still, as you'll notice, it's not taking out the gold ingots um, because we haven't set it to take out gold ingots. Let's say we take the cobblestone out and leave this empty with nothing in it now. Its behavior has changed, and now it's just sucking out willy-nilly anything that it wants. Whatever's in that chest, it is going to drag out of there. Alright, so we're going to turn that off. We're going to take some of this stuff back, which I don't have any inventory space. Let's chuck some random stuff in here. Lots of nice, useless, random things in there right now. Okay, so can we put, can we set this to pull gold and cobblestone in stacks of one each? Let's see if we can do that. Alright, it's pulling the cobblestone. Let's put a gold one up front there, and there we go. So it's only pulling gold and cobblestone, despite the fact that there's bone meal, there's blue alloy ingots, there's basalt, cobblestone, dirt, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Um, it's only pulling what you ask it, and it's only pulling it in the quantity that you're asking to pull it from. So that's a filter. Basically, it's just used to bring items from one place to another and you can make a little bit more complicated setups with these but basically that's what a filter does. So what do we got next Ingram? Alright up next is our deployer and our block breaker and we have a little bit of a, a very basic farming rig set up here um, and what a deployer will do is it will use an item that's in it for example we have a hoe, some seeds and some bone meal it will use them in the order it'll tick through first time it gets redstone it'll hit the hoe second time it'll hit the seeds and third time it'll grab the bone meal and it uses them in the exact same way that a human would or a player so if I had for example um, some seeds and I were to hit that ground it would plant those seeds if you're using a bucket and you're hitting a block of water it will actually swipe the bucket into the water and replace the empty bucket with a bucket full of water so um, we're going to go ahead and then this block breaker guy he'll take what's ever in front of it all the way up to obsidian so it's nice it's actually a lot faster than than mining with a with a diamond pick um, but it'll take whatever's in front of it it will break it ingest it and spit it out the back so if I fire this baby up it's gonna plant some seeds then the next button tick it'll use the bone meal to instantly grow and then if we come over here and pulse the block breaker you can see that it broke the two things in front of it, which were the seeds and the wheat. It spit them out the back, 
and put them into the chest here. And we can keep going. If you set up um, wiring, bundled cable and all that, you can get this thing to, to work automatically and set up an automated farm that's actually extremely fast and efficient. Now there's better options for doing this, but this is your, your basic setup. And this is your basic block breaker and deployer machine rig. All right, what do we got next, Captain? We have the transposer, and we have something new in this setup. These are redstone tubes. You'll notice that the tubes are coated in a little bit of red, and we have this jacketed red wire right here hooked up to a timer. And this is going to send a signal to this red tubing here, and it's going to send the signal to the transposer. So it's basically the same thing as our other setups, except that it's not going to require a direct um, lever or button or something like that. So if we turn this on, we're going to see that this thing starts to light up. And the transposer, you can see a little graphic happen right there when it's pinged. Uh, that means the machine is on and working. And what the transposer is going to do is it's going to suck into it anything in the eight surrounding blocks. So if I throw some tubes underneath there, you can see up top there that it's going to grab those tubes and suck them into the target chest. And it's going to do that every single time that redstone tube up top pings it. So transposers just take whatever's near them, just happens to be that happens to be laying on the ground, they suck them up and bring them into a target chest. Um, what we have on the floor over here is this is a transposer that's facing the opposite direction, it's facing up instead of down. And this one is going to take anything that I drop right in there and suck it up once I hit that lever. And you can see down there, it's going up into the chest. I throw a bunch of wire in the floor and bam, there it goes. So you can use this as a little method to clean up stuff. You can use it to take meat off the floor after you've killed a whole bunch of cows in Ingram's slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you got to fix the floor. I just busted that's, it. That's a transposer. Another thing, the reason um, these transposers have another cool thing where anything that hits them will automatically be ingested. Now, because we had a lever on the block next to it, it was actually throwing a shutoff signal to the transposer, and so it wouldn't do it automatically. But if we were to take, see, there's no um, conflicting redstone signals anywhere around this thing. So if I were to lob a piece of stuff in there, and it's, as soon as it hits, you can see it coming through. Um, and it'll do that with anything. So as Captain Jack's vomiting out purple wire for some reason, um, anything that hits the, the direct back face of the transposer will automatically get sucked in. And we can see him pumping through and going into our crystal chest. All right, so those are some of the basic um, red power machines that you're going to need to take advantage of in your more advanced designs. Um, and there we go. The light for part three has officially come on. And we'll see you next time for part <laughs> for part four, <laughs> advanced red power machines, part A. Dark. Stay poised. Stay poised. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you get stuck or have any questions or want to see these used in any different setups. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay poised. Thank <laughs> you.